of snow in the last 24 hours, which is a little unusual. We don't usually get quite that much, uh, at least not since we've been here. And as usual, we let the fire die out last night. So I'm going to start a new fire and bring y'all along to show you how I do it. And the house isn't too cold right now. It's actually quite comfortable. But it will get a little chilly if I don't start a fire. So the first thing I'm going to do is empty the ashtray. And before I empty the ashtray, I need to put on my boots because we don't have the path blown yet. I'm just going to knock down some of the light flat stuff into the ashtray. forward to getting this path blown. Snow's coming in over the tops of my boots. And you can see we don't have a very sophisticated way of doing this. Just dump the ashes. They're all biodegradable, of course, so they'll just go back into the ground. Knock off as much snow as possible before going back in. Tray safely back. I'll go ahead and close it. I'm not going to close it all the way. I found this little life hack, if you will, to leave the ashtray partly open at the bottom when I first start the fire so that it can suck in extra air from underneath. Now I'm going to collect some little stuff. We've got some birch bark. Bit of birch bark because I don't have very much small stuff this morning. A few pieces of birch bark here. Birch, birch bark is quite simply just that it is the bark that we peel off these birch logs. So throughout the day, as I'm adding logs to the fire, I will frequently try to peel off the bark. And this one is not going to come easily. Maybe I can get a little piece just to show you. So I can peel the bark off of it. And this stuff burns like paper. Just it burns much longer than paper. So it's excellent for a fire starter. Let's see if I can find some small pieces. And I've got some birch bark. And a regular size log. A couple smaller logs. Grab a couple more things. Take the bag. Get a piece of cardboard. A smaller log. Before I do anything else, I'm going to open the air intake, the lever on this side, and catalytic converter. It's a lever on the other side. <clears throat> what the catalytic converter does, it's a, a thing almost like a door that drops down in the back and covers part of the flue so that it forces the smoke to recirculate and um, largely be burned up again before it goes up the, the stovepipe. So it drastically increases the efficiency of the wood and also means that you're producing less smoke. 
So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold up this cardboard. I'm no expert fire builder by any means, but I've kind of come up with my own method of what generally works. So I always start by putting a, a rolled up piece of cardboard in the back for the log, kind of a medium sized log on top of it. And that's eventually going to catch on fire and kind of provide some meat to the, the fire. But I don't always use paper, but I often I'll roll up my paper bag kind of tight or whatever kind of paper I have. I'll put that in there in front of the log. And put my birch bark on top of that. Tuck a little bit of this birch bark under the log too. I don't usually use this much birch bark, but I don't have very much small stuff today and it's wet, but I do have. So I'm gonna use a little more than usual. Try and get things really going. There we go. Got one little stick. Ideally, I'd use a few more of those. And then I just kind of stand the the wood pieces up here, almost in a bit of a teepee against that back log. They're not wanting to lean back because there's so much birch bark. I'm going to put this front, last one just across the front. There we go. There's my fire all laid out and ready to start. I usually try to start it in a couple places doesn't always want to. I'm gonna close the door so it doesn't smoke the house up too bad. Close this one most of the way. There we go, the fire has started. Now we hope that it actually burns. Sometimes it takes a bit of finagling to get it to burn properly. Other times it goes exactly as it's laid out. And that is what recliners are for. Let's sit down and watch the fire. This is what I like to see when I'm starting a fire. A good strong takeoff. Probably all that birch bark. The wood hasn't really caught yet. It has to dry out unfortunately before it will really catch. So hopefully the birch bark will be enough to dry it out and catch it on fire. If not, I'm going to be adding a lot more birch bark. You really don't want to poke a fire too much, especially when it's first starting. But sometimes it is quite helpful to get those pieces of wood kind of down in there where the other stuff is that's burning. So that it hopefully has a better chance of catching. There we go. Oops. You still need enough room between them though so that they can breathe. It's a bit of a fine line between providing enough room that fire can breathe and providing so much between pieces that they end up going out because they can't burn off of each other. It's not very cold this morning so it doesn't smoke up the room. But sometimes when it's very cold the stovepipe will get so chilly that the smoke won't want to rise through it for a bit and it'll all just kind of seep out throughout the stove. Then I'd go open up the window and or the door and let the smoke out, let the cold air in until it kind of clears the room a bit and then I close the door again. But thankfully this morning it didn't do that. 
Looks like it's gonna go. We'll see what happens once all the birch bark is burned up though. That's when the real test comes. So it's died down a little bit, but I'm actually very encouraged because all the birch bark is burned up pretty much, but now the logs themselves are burning. So that's exactly how I want it to look and I'm just not going to mess with it. I'll close the door. burn and a little bit once it's a little bit more established even though it looks really good right now but I'm gonna give it a few more minutes I plan to come back down and put another log on this is exactly how the fire is supposed to light okay I'm gonna put a little log on here now pretty small one don't want to squash the fire by trying to put a massive chunk of wood on there. I'm just going to stick it in there. There we go. Close the door up again so it can get its draft back. And there it goes. It's only been a few minutes since I put the first log on, but I just added a second. This one is going really, really well. And the temperature is already up to almost 500. This thermometer isn't all that accurate. <coughs> um, so it's probably closer to 400, but still it's pretty warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the cap. Aggravate thing won't stay shut. For some reason it's gotten kind of loose when you figure out how to tighten it. As you can see that uh, significantly reduced the flaming of the fire there, but it'll come back. Right now it's going so well that I don't think it's going to die out. But I'm going to leave the ashtray door open and also the intake open. And then in a little bit I'll come down and check on it. As long as it's still doing well I'll go ahead and close the ashtray door. It has only been a short time, but it is definitely time to close the ashtray and the air intake a little bit. The trick today, since it's pretty warm, it's forecasted to get into the low 30s. Not convinced it will. I kind of hope it doesn't, but that's the forecast. The trick today is going to be to keep the stove from getting too hot. That is a pretty homey sight. Wood stove just burning away, doing its job, keeping the house nice and warm. And we can look out and enjoy all the beautiful snow. Go out there and snowshoe around for a while probably. And then come back inside and sit down next to the stove and warm up again. But, like I said, the trick will be to not get it so hot that it runs us straight out of the house. It's just a little sad to have to open doors and windows and let out all that lovely heat into the Alaskan air. When uh, we bought the wood, and <laughs> so it's kind of a pity to burn it up and then let the heat out. This has been a good stove for us. We're very thankful for it. And... Uh, we look forward to many warm, cozy fires in it.